Hey everybody, in this video we're going to be practicing damped sinusoidal functions, that is recognizing when sinusoids have a dampened effect. Now dampening, that refers to, well if you ever use the word, you most often hear the, use the word dampened, not damp, but dampened when you talk about sound. And th there's a reason why we use that, because when you want to dampen sound, you want to make it softer, quieter. And so what you're doing is you're actually reducing the amplitude of a sound wave because that's how it travels. And so what we're looking for is we're looking for when does the amplitude go to zero. That's what we're searching for when we talk about dampening effect. So if you want to follow along, the links to the companion worksheet are in the description below. Also, don't forget to click that subscribe button to be up to date on all the videos we have coming out from the channel. So the way we do this is actually first we identify what are the boundaries. And so if you want to click up in the upper left hand corner, I'll post a link to our previous video where we showed you how to identify the boundaries. So looking at this, our boundaries are going to be y equals x and y equals negative x. So those are our boundaries. And then the graph is going to fall in between them. And so where does the dampening occur? Well, rather, is there dampening? And yes, w notice what's happening. As you get closer to zero, the amplitude gets smaller and smaller until at the origin, the amplitude is zero. So what we say is the dampening occurs as x goes to zero, like that. As x gets closer to zero, the amplitude gets closer and closer to zero itself. So that's all we do. This is all we're doing is just identifying when the dampening occurs, if it occurs at all. So looking at the next one, we have negative 4 cosine of x. So our boundaries, those are going to be y equals 4 and y equals negative 4. That means we go right here and we go right here. Now notice y equals 4 and y equals negative 4 are horizontal lines, so that means the amplitude is going to be kept at a constant. So with this one, there is no dampening. Now for this third one, we have 2 to the negative x cosine of x. So our boundaries, those are going to be y equals 2 to the negative x and negative 2 to the negative x. Now, got to be careful with that negative. 2 to the x would go up like this, but 2 to the negative x comes down like that. And so negative 2 to the negative x does that. And so our graph is going to be shaped like that. So our dampening, Yeah, it does occur because our amplitude is getting smaller. And I should have drawn the boundary graphs getting closer to the x-axis. But as you continue to go off to the right, they get closer and closer. So the dampening occurs as x gets closer or approaches infinity. That's where the dampening is occurring for this graph. So on the next one, we have e to the x sine of x. So our boundaries are y equals e to the x and y equals e negative e to the x. Now e is a positive number greater than 1. So that means it's going to go like that and like that. So where does the dampening occur? Well, it occurs as we go off to the left. So that means not at 0. The, the amplitude hasn't gone to zero yet. It has to keep going off to negative infinity. So that's where the dampening occurs. As x goes to negative infinity. So then, for this one, we have 1 half to the x times sine of x. So our boundaries are y equals 1 half to the x and negative one-half to the x. Now this is the same thing as 2 to the negative x. And so this graph is going to come down like this. 
and this graph is going to come up like that. And so our function is going to fit in between there. So for this one, our dampening occurs as x goes to negative as x goes to positive infinity. Thanks everyone for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have suggestions or problems you want to see worked out, type a comment below. To support the channel, click the Patreon link to help keep this going. Thanks so much for watching, and remember, the best way to understand something is to do it.